And when the song comes on, everybody gon' rush the floor We do it big like Matt Life <laughs> What is up everybody and welcome back to another Battlefront 2 mod map gameplay and today we go on the campaign mode for Rebel Ops Mission 1 A Killer's Deep Sea by Maver Ritual and this was released about 10 years ago I believe and it says Mr. Bridger welcome to A Killer's Deep Sea Mining Station 5 open the door lock proceed to your quarters Acc accessibility yeah I know this see what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to speed a few things up by doing two things one no sprint energy usage and two high speeds because as you see now I'm moving a lot faster the map itself it's actually not that big of a map but that being said I want this to get done soon because if I just ran the entire thing then it would take a long time or maybe not a long time it take like 25 30 minutes to complete all right, here we go. Then I go here and I get my briefing. Number of yeah, number of the facilities, older model mining droids have recently gone haywire. They're gonna start attacking. Go get the, go get the uh, computer chip now. Okay, sounds easy to me. All right, the computer chip is over here, I believe. Or no, is it? I don't remember. Is it over here? I think it might might be the other way. Yeah, I think it is. Yep, it's the other way. Let's go this way. Alright, so all you gotta do is go this way. Probably can just pull this up the entire time. Go to- go back this way. Go over here. And as you see, there are two dead stormtroopers over here. And you gotta pick this up. Okay, so you're good with that. And now you go off to this way. I'm not running, just so you know. I'm just randomly sliding. So you just go this way. And you just continue going this way. And then you go to your left over here, up into the little station. And then you just access or whatever. Or do you do that yet? Actually, no, you don't. My bad. I forgot. I... You're supposed to take this back to the location. It was the other way, actually. Now, I, I hate these things. These things, they don't, like, do a lot of damage, but... Out of the way. Alright, so don't follow that. Uh, I was pretty sure it was that way. I'm thinking of a, a later quest on here. That's what I'm thinking of. Alright, so it was going this way. I was right the first time. Alright, I gotta go back through this way, and then I have to go around this and go this way. And then this is where I drop off the... whatchamacallit. This is where you drop off the thing. Yep, upload the data from the, dr from the dead workers into this terminal. Alright, reading through the workers' data, you discover that the main droid control signal appeared to be disrupted by... A insula nearby insulation transmitting a different signal. Maybe you should ask the station's commander about this. Alright. That means just go straight down the middle and go over here and talk with the, with the station commander. Who's right here. Hold on a minute. Okay, of course I got stuck over there. Alright, basically he's just saying another signal. There's no there's no station nearby that I can transmit such a thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. More or less, that's just him saying he's not telling you everything. So go around and ask random people. If you want my opinion, I don't think you should ask these Imperial Miners. They don't really give you a lot of information. Yeah, see? They didn't give me any information that was useful. It's those officers you really want to ask. Like this Imperial Officer, or Mining Facility Officer. Sometimes they don't give you anything either, so so you kind of have to just go 50-50. Yep, they're not going to tell me anything. How about you? Uh, are there any other bases nearby? Not, not that I know of. Of course, no one would, would be able to check check for you, since the mining station submarine has been out of commission for weeks now. Okay, good. At least you helped me with a little something. Hopefully I'm not spending too much time trying to get information. Nope, you're not giving me any information. Next. Alright, you guys, hopefully you guys can, can help me out. Nope. Nope. Ah, a nearby installation? No, now that you mention it, I was outside one of the domes recently doing some maintenance, and I noticed a large cave with some kind of shield generator. I, I sure don't know what it could be, though. 
Okay, I so still... You need to ask one more person, and if you get information out of that person, you go to the submarine. Okay, you don't have the information? Uh, me? That's a strange story. I used to sell... What are you talking... Okay. That, that's, uh... That's nothing. Okay, that's nothing either. Alright, so... Let's ask you. Oh, the cavern outside? No one, no one really knows. I hear there's supposed to be some sort of secret base down there, but I think there's just too much time spent in four little domes, if you know what I mean. It doesn't really matter though, since the only way you could get, get outside is by taking the submarine. And now that submarine, it's, it's on the right side of your screen, as you see right now. It's on the, it's on the, the right area over there, so you just want to run over here. And you only have five lives, so I, I suggest using that to, to the best of your advantage. Alright, so now you go over here to the computer terminal, and it's going to tell you that it's not working. So you have to go get some parts, and it's going to tell you, oh, you're going to need to kill a few of these Mark, Mark II droids units. Okay, where are you? Well, that's not it. Yeah, see, see these red ones? Destroy some of these mining droid Mark II's. One of them will eventually give it to you. You can kill the Mark I's if you're really bored, but I suggest going for the Mark II's because those are the ones that have the precious part. And as you see, they're all just gray, so don't even bother going for any of these. The red ones, I'm not entirely sure where they are. Okay, well. Okay, well. The reason, the reason they're attacking me so efficiently is because of, well, the stupid choice I made of high speeds, but it, it's made the game go by a lot faster, hasn't it? Oh, see? I got the part. Now go back to the docking bay. Now, I think... Was it over here? No, I don't think it was. Yeah, see? You return the part. See if the terminal will let you launch a submarine. Oh, uh, oops. Access. And basically it's going to say, nope, you still can't launch it, you need to manually override it in this in this room. That's all it's really saying to you. You gotta manually override it, baby. Or yeah, you gotta take, you gotta, you gotta t turn off the shield, that's what you gotta do. I don't remember, which way was it? I think it was this way. You go over this way and then you gotta, you gotta turn off the shield. It wasn't that thing, I don't think. You know what, let's check. It might have been that thing. I don't think it was, but I'll just double check. If it's not, we'll just move on to the next area. Oh, yep, see, main power shut down. There, I sh you shut down the power, and now it says get to the power control thing, which is right over there. So, you kind of have to do a little jump over here. And then you want to slowly get up on this thing. So, maybe, you can, you can probably put normal speeds on now. It's, it doesn't even matter at this point. So, slowly make your way up here. And you want to access this, so you can turn it off. And now it says you, your computer picked up this message, touching all Imperial personnel, a civilian worker sabotaged the station's main power. He needs to be considered a threat or, and shot on sight. So that just basically means, now you're an enemy to everybody. And now you have to, you have to move your ass out of here. Yep, see, now they're shooting at you. And you just want to make sure you get past them all. And now you should be able to get through the shield. See? Get into the singer, launch it up, and now you have to destroy some power generators on the outside of the... whatchamacallit... Uh, of the base. So if you see any power generators of any sorts, destroy them, because there's no way you can do this next part without destroying them. So as you see, there's a power generator right there. So... You can destroy that one, not a problem. Move on to the next one, which is somewhere over here, I believe. Yep, see, there's one right there. Go ahead and start shooting this power generator. Good to go. And now you could... What you may call it? There's another power generator over here, I believe. I don't remember exactly where it was, but there is another one. I believe it was in a cave over here, if I'm not mistaken. And it's over here. This next power generator. Don't don't even bother going in here. You can just stay out here, shoot it, and now you're good to go, I believe. And this is the entrance right over here. 
And as you see, there's no generator over here. Now it says the shield over the caves is down. Drive carefully through the underwater tunnels and see if you can find any other way, any other Imperial operation down there. And now be very careful when you go down here because there's some uh, turns that you can take that aren't exactly very safe. Be very, very careful. As I said, five, five lives is not that many. And you need, you need to take this fairly slow. Your guy can probably technically repair the ship a little bit for you, but... Oh yeah, see, this is the underwater facility. And this docking submarine can be tricky. Make sure you approach the docking bay at slow p speed. Dive into the docking port and press spacebar to land right before you hit the bottom. Now this is where I mess up usually. So if I die, you'll know why. You gotta go, you gotta go really slow. Here, see? Just aim down, stop when you're about halfway, land, get out. And now this is where you need your blaster. Oh yeah, I can turn off uh, the high speeds now. See, there we go. Back to normal. Come on, c come over here. No, don't want to come over here? Nice try. Just go for the head, boys. Alright, now, you have to go over this way. Gotta go around here. And... Oh, I missed. I missed the turret. Alright, be aware of turrets. And now it says here... It's more or less just saying, in this conversation, make sure that I don't get through the... the door, and there's two... There's two uh, mainframes I have to destroy at once, so I'll do that now. And there's you, I gotta kill. And you're dead. Now, you see there's a destruction panel right over here. Throw one of your depth packs on there and leave it. And there's another one over here. There's another depth pack over here, or er, destruct panel here. And then you. And all you have to do is shoot this, and uh, destroy that at the same time, and it'll open for you, just just like that. Hello, you. And once you kill that guy, it opens for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I'll take the health. Oh god. You see, that's where you gotta be careful with these guys because these guys got flamethrowers, and you and you want to keep far from, away from them so you don't die. And this is near the end of the mission anyway. All right, now go down this way. Auto turn there, destroy that, and destroy that repeating blaster turret. Come on. There we go, killed him. Any more? Yep, we got a few more of these. I destroyed that, destroyed that, and destroyed that. Okay, destroy that repeating blaster turret. And now this is the end of the mission. There we go. And now all you have to do is wait, wait for it to come up. So, uh, that's far enough, Lieutenant Thermal. You are now a prisoner of the Empire. Yeah, for ready to transport. Okay. And bring the prisoner to the, to the Big L, which is the next map, and inform the Emperor that we have another recruit for the program. It's complete to be continued the Big L. Alright, so we win. Coolio. Alright, so thank you all for watching this walkthrough video. I am going to do this for the next two maps from the Rebel Ops mission, which is the Big L and Bakura Rogue Assault. And, uh, goodbye.